I've had lots of comments and emails asking me if you can listen to trains and what these trackside radio masts actually do. So, here's everything you need to know. GSMR stands for Global System for Mobile Communications Railway, or GSM Railway. It's an international wireless communication system for railway voice and data communications. It was phased into service across Britain's rail network between 2007 and 2014 and has now replaced the previous voice radio communication systems used on the national network that included the National Radio Network, Cab Secure Radio and the Strathclyde Manning Agreement radio system in Scotland. Before privatisation, the railway owned and operated its own private telephone network. In 1994, the railway telephone network, including transmission systems, was privatised and leased back to the railway. Little investment had been made in upgrading the system, other than provision of some modern telephone exchange equipment, and it became apparent in the late 1990s that the existing fixed and radio communication networks could not meet the system requirements for the railway in general. Railtrack and Network Rail embarked on a project to provide a transmission network that would sustain railway operational communications into the future. This developed into the FTM project and the concurrent GSMR project. The legacy radio systems, NRN and CSR, were approaching the end of their useful life, with most being in existence since the early to mid-1980s. Due to international agreements, the telecommunications regulator Ofcom changed licensing conditions for land mobile radio, resulting in the withdrawal of Network Rail's licence to operate on NRM frequencies south of the Seven Wash Line in December 2012, and with further licence withdrawals across the UK following across the whole network by the end of 2016. GSMR is essentially built on GSM technology and provides 2G connectivity between the ground and the train. This may sound very low tech, but in reality 2G is sufficient for today's data volumes and it's been rolled out in 38 countries across the world, including all member states of the European Union and countries in Asia, Eurasia and Northern Africa. The standard is the result of over 10 years of collaboration between various European railway companies. The specifications of the system were finalised in 2000, based on the European Union funded Moraine project. The specification is being maintained by the International Union of Railways project, ERTMS. GSMR is a secure platform for voice and data communication between railway operational staff including drivers, dispatchers, shunting team members, train engineers and station controllers. It delivers features such as group calls, voice broadcast, location-based connections and call preemption in case of an emergency. This supports applications such as freight tracking, video surveillance in trains and at stations and passenger information services. GSMR is part of the European Rail Traffic Management System standard and also carries the signalling information directly to the train driver, enabling higher speed trains and traffic density with a high level of safety. In the UK, over 15,000 kilometres of railway lines are covered by 2,500 GSMR masts. There are 8,574 radios installed in train cabs and 21,200 drivers and signallers are trained to use it. There is 100% coverage across the GSMR radio network with 860 signaller terminals and two switching centres. GSMR utilises base station masts close to the track side with tunnel coverage using directional antennas or leaky feeder systems. Masts are generally 15 metres or 29 metres high and exceptionally higher where topography or existing masts dictate conditions. Like a standard mobile phone site, they have radio cabinets and coax cables that feed antennas at the top of the mast. Each base station has a relocatable equipment building that houses the GSMR base station and associated control equipment as well as a battery charger and batteries and line interface frames for copper and fibre cables to interface the base station with the network. The distance between base stations is 7 to 15 kilometres and this creates a high degree of redundancy. 
GSMR is standardised to be implemented in either the EGSM or DCS1800 frequency bands which are both being used around the world. In the UK, the uplink is between 876 and 880 MHz, and the downlink is between 921 and 925 MHz, and it can't be monitored on a radio scanner. A cab mobile radio is mounted in each locomotive, which enables a driver or signaller to make point-to-point -point calls. There's also the facility for the signaller to initiate group calls to every train currently in his operational area and replies from a driver are heard by other drivers in that area. VGCS or Voice Group Call System allows a number of users to participate in the same call. This feature imitates a standard two-way radio by utilising a PTT or push to talk. VBS or Voice Broadcast System is a broadcast group call where only the initiator of the call can speak. The others who join the call can only listen. This is mainly used to broadcast recorded messages or to make announcements. A Railway Emergency Call or REC can be initiated by either a driver or a signaller. A high priority call facility is provided on the cab mobile via a yellow button for drivers to call a signaller if there's a need to immediately report something that does not require all trains to be stopped by the use of the REC. A shunting emergency call is a dedicated group call with the number 599. The call is established with an emergency level priority whose level is the highest possible, zero. There's also a facility to generate a very limited number of text messages such as I am waiting at the signal or call signaller. Signallers can pre-record messages, for example to warn of low adhesion conditions, to be broadcast at regular intervals, or associated with a berth track circuit when a train approaches a particular signal section. GSMR could be replaced by LTER, with the first production implementation being in South Korea. However, LTE is generally considered to be a 4G protocol, and the UIC's future railway mobile communication system program is considering moving to something 5G based as the next step. So, the next time you're wondering how trains communicate and what these trackside masts do, now you know.